continuing to field questions here for us simile dania or dania gomez within the telegram group asks what is a reasonable score for the practice 120 she's referring to free 120 which is the free 120 questions you can sit directly on the us simile website the questions are exactly the same as the nbme ones however the free 120 will not give you a three-digit score prediction whereas the nbme exams obviously will so sometimes students will ask what's a good score on free 120 okay and i can chat about that with you real quick so before we get started well i'm gonna be an asshole like i usually am tell you to subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it help grow this channel share with one of your friends prepping for us simile help build awareness for this channel hit the like button Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question as far as from Dania Gomez, what is a reasonable score on the practice free 120? Okay. And what I can say is that the free 120 and, and NBME questions are exactly the same. And the scaling is a lot steeper in comparison to UWorld. Students ask about this frequently. In UWorld, if you score EG 81 to 84% plus in the QBank, which is a very high percentage correct, you are poised to score high 250s, 260 plus, okay? Based on 81 to 84% plus correct in UWorld. On the NBMEs and Free 120, however, you pretty much have to ace it. You have to be getting 95 plus percent correct, okay? So the scaling is a lot more unforgiving. If you want a 270 plus, you pretty much have to get a 97.5, 98 plus percent correct on free 120 and the NBME exams. In order to pass, you can be getting on an NBME exam, these are 200 question forms, you can get about no more than 65 to 70 questions wrong. Okay, so if you get 70 wrong, 130 out of 200, 65 percent. So you need to be getting about two thirds correct, bare fucking minimum on an NBME exam, and that translates over to the free 120. Okay, so two thirds, 80. You should be shooting at least 80 out of 120 on the free on the free 120 in order to pass USMLE, and 130 out of 200 bare fucking minimum scores to pass. And you need to pretty much ace it, 95, 96 percent plus on free 120 and the NBMEs in order to get 260 plus. And then, as I said before, in UWorld. If you're breaking 80 plus percent in QBank, you are poised to break two high 250s, 260 on the step exam. And in UWorld, if you're getting below 50 percent correct, that's where students are in danger of not passing USMLE. Okay, if I have students who are scoring consistently below 50 percent in UWorld, uh, they don't even have to sit a practice exam; they're pretty much not passing. Okay, so there's so many points for discussion here. We can make this an extended clip. Obviously, drop comments below if you have any questions, and I will make clips addressing them, okay? So you know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.